Good morning. This is Mary Kerswell with the March 27, 2023 Cattle Facts Opening Bell. Tight supply in the north allowed fed cattle to trade steady to higher last week. With the supply more manageable in the north, there's been a premium built compared to the southern market. This was caused by the adverse weather conditions seen over the past few months. While there has been some improvement, the tight supply in northern leadership will likely continue for the next few weeks. Still, the higher trade in the north should be supportive to the southern market, which is also expected to trade higher this week. Seasonally, calves should be near their highs, but with the weather seen in various parts of the country, they could remain at elevated price levels for longer this year. Feeders have been sideways or choppy in the cash market, which will likely continue. Feeder cattle futures will probably see a lot of volatility as we move into corn planting season, and live cattle futures continue to be volatile as well. This Friday, the USDA will release their prospective planning report. Our expectation is that corn acres will be up 500,000 to 1.5 million acres, and soybean acres will be steady with last year. Surprises in this report could cause large moves to the grain market. The USDA will also release their quarterly hogs and pigs inventory report this week on Thursday. Hogs have continued to see a lot of volatility with demand challenges, but this report should provide some clarity on the supply side. Thanks for watching and have a great week.